Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 47 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, this has been a long time coming. I know you guys are about to get hype because I'm going to show you how to add video display into your map. Now, no one else has released this. Well, at least I don't think anybody tried this. But good old Uptown to the rescue. Where's that trigger? There it is. All right, so uh, let's check this out. Love this part. Now tell me this isn't epic. Turn around. Time to get rid of these dickheads. That's why you better do exactly what we say. Great evil approaches. There is a chain of events that must Now just in case there is a lot more detail. The only thing is, is that I don't have a reflection probe touching it, so it's kind of glossy. But other than that, you can see the video plays, there's sound, and let me show you guys how to add this. If not, I'm going to end up staying here watching this. Alright, zombie. I'm out, bitch. Oh, can't get to me. Ah! Now, in the video description, there's going to be a link to a download. It's going to be a text document of a script that I made. You know, it's like a low-level script, but it gets the job done. And I'm going to show you guys how to add it right now. All right, let me just close out of this. All right, cool. All right, so let me close that. Now, this is going to be the text document that's going to be in the download. And all it is is... Uh, two steps well it's like three or four but it's so simple now what you want to do is you want to add this part number one put in main so you want to put this in your main function and then you're gonna put this code right at the bottom of your GSC and then you're gonna add my prefab or else you're gonna make your own trigger and give it the KVP of script noteworthy switch now let me show you guys how to add this just in case all right so just navigate to the map that you want to add this to in my case it's going to be this one i'm going to go to open map folder and i'm going to click on scripts zm and i'm going to go into my map gsc all right cool Right now, I already have the information in, but uh, let me delete all this and I'll show you guys. Now, if you're starting off with a fresh map, it's gonna look just like this. Now, you wanna go over to the text document. You wanna go right up to the top, copy this bit of code, copy, and then you wanna put it right under ZM underscore user map. Paste it in. All right, now number two, grab, this is one function, and this is the second. Don't copy this part right here. So copy that, scroll all the way down to an empty area of your GSC, has to be all the way in the bottom. That way it's not in any other code. And there you have it. All right, so hit file, Hit save. Now you don't want to close out your GSC because now we're going to pick the video that we want to play. So what I want you to do is go over to your root folder for Black Ops 3. Double click on that. Now I'm in the root folder. Now if you 
look around, you're going to notice a folder called video. Double click on that and here are all the videos that you can add. So what you want to do is you want to get the playtime of the video and you also want to copy the name. So in our case, let's say we went for, let's see, this one. This is the video that was playing. Now, not all of these videos have sound, but uh, a good amount of them do. So what you want to do is you want to double click on the video. Make sure it's on zero seconds. And as you can see, the play time for this video is two minutes and 31 seconds. Now, when you add the information, you have to add it in seconds. So within a minute, there's 60 seconds. So there's two minutes, so that's 120 seconds. And then you add 31 to that, so that's 151. That's how long this video is. So I'm gonna go to the script, go all the way down to the bottom. You're gonna see where it says wait, and it's gonna say add time of video in seconds. So you wanna put that number right in here. So we're gonna put in 151 because that's the playtime for the video. And whatever video it is, you copy the name. Make sure you don't change it. And right over here where it says add your video name here, you want to put it right inside here, right inside of the quotation marks. Just paste and copy, or at least highlight it and then paste it in. Now, the reason I came up with this script is because what it's doing is it's going to wait for the trigger to be triggered, and then it's going to run this line of code, which is going to play the video. And then once the video is done, which is this time right here, it's going to start this function where it's going to stop the video. Now, let's say if you would comment these out, put those slashes and it turns gray. That means that it's not going to be read, this code right here. Now, if you do that and you just leave the first one, the video is going to play once. After you hit the trigger, it's going to play once and it's not going to play again. That's why you have to put in the seconds and you also have to let that other code run, which is going to stop the video. So that way, once the video is done, you can just go right back to the trigger and you can start the video again. And that's pretty much it for the scripting part. All right, so just go to file, go to save. That part is done. Now, there's also going to be a prefab, which I'm going to include in the download. And it's going to be basically, well, let me show you guys in Radiant. All right, let me go to... Well, we could go into new map because I already showed you guys how it looks. Now, what you want to do is you want to hit T for textures. So to bring up your textures window, which is this one right over here. Now you want to go over to all and you want to type in MP4 because it's a certain brush that we need to play the video on. Now, what these are, they're emissive brushes which uh, play movies now the one you're gonna need like it took me a second to figure this out the one you're gonna need is this one right over here lit emissive mp4 now it's this picture right over here where it has like an eye it has like four pictures in one if anything you can just drag out a brush as you want it as small as you want it doesn't matter it's up to you you know, just drag it out to that size. There it is right there. Now you want to hit that texture. Double click it. Now, as you can see, it's showing a whole bunch of little windows. So what you want to do is you want to hit S on the keyboard. That'll stand for Surface Inspector. Press S. And then you want to hit Set. That way it'll scale it out right and there you go 
Now that's going to play your video. Now there's also a different way of uh, doing this. You could use a model that has an MP4 brush built into it. So all you have to do is just press M on the keyboard and it'll bring up your models. Go to all and type in MP4. And let's give it a second so it can load up. Come on, baby. My food's getting cold. Well, it's this one right over here. P7 underscore uh, underscore CAI security monitor MP4. So you can just drop that in there. There it is. And that's what it looks like. It's a model of a monitor. Now, we're not done. The last bit you have to do is either add my prefab, which is going to come with the trigger and this brush. So you can just size it to whatever size you would like it to be. Or else you can just make the trigger yourself. So just uh, hit B on the keyboard to bring up your entity browser. And then you want to go over to trigger. And you can either use uh, trigger once, trigger radius, trigger views. Uh, use touch but we're gonna be using a trigger views so let's put that in all right once the triggers in the spot where you want it you know just give it these this KVP press N on the keyboard so it'll bring up your entity info there it is right over here and with the trigger selected you want to go to add KVP and then you're going to type in script underscore note worthy. And what we're going to call this trigger is switch. S-W-I-T-C-H. And hit add. And you're done. And that's all you have to do. So if you guys like this video, hit that like button, subscribe. You know, it's uh, took me a second to figure this out, so you're not going to find this anywhere else. But um, show me some love, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.